working for you. A weekly talk radio program which highlights developments of national interest and the activities of your Sankit Stevens government. Join host Les Roy Williams as he presents news, views, reports, and interviews about everything regarding the activities of the Team Unity government and the building of our communities and the development of Sankit Stevens. Tune in and call in to interact with your government and share your views regarding the upward forward development of your community and our beautiful Twin Island Federation. Working for you is weekly, every Wednesday live from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. on ZIZ Radio, Win FM, and Sugar City FM with rebroadcast on participating stations. Working for you. Good afternoon and welcome to Working for You, the government's weekly radio program where people can be informed about how the government is working for them. Today, I have with me senior members of the St. Kiss Electricity Company, Skellig, Mr. Gawain Freitz, Public Relations Officer, Pearl Williams, Finance Manager, and Sanche Thompson, Customer Service Manager. Welcome to this program. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And I am your host, as usual, Les Roy Williams. Now today we are going to speak about something so essential to our livelihoods, that of energy or electricity. It can be something that we take for granted until we lose it. Then we are reminded of how important it is. This morning I met with the chairman of the Skellic Board, Mr. Errol Leibard, and was apprised of several issues that Skellig is grappling with. Today, we will have a discussion on those issues. Okay. <laughs> Members of Skellig. <laughs> Skellig is celebrating five years. It became a private company on August 1st, 2011. And you have been very much involved in a number of initiatives um, within those five years. You have been serving the public. And basically, I want you to outline for me the new initiatives that you have implemented in those five years. And what are your plans to serve the public better? This afternoon, yes, we would like to highlight some of the things that Skellig has been doing. We will start with the recent past because we have done so much over the last five years that we will just focus on some of the things that we have been doing recently. I will start by mentioning our EBIS, that is our online payment portal, which is still so much more than just payment alone. Ms. Thompson, who is our customer service manager, somewhere along the line, she will mm -hmm. deliberate a little more and let persons know exactly what the EBS can offer them. We also have things like the smart meters. We have new website. This is in the final stage because even right now we are upgrading our website. The reason why we are upgrading, we want to allow customers to get forms online. So instead of having to come to the office to receive a form, you can get the form, fill it out, and even send it to us. We have done other things, like we have put in a 24-hour checkbox to facilitate ease of payment. We have completely redone our customer service area. And one of the things that everybody say once they have come in is what a difference it makes. Not only in the sense of the privacy that customers now have when they come in, that they can deal with their customer service matters in a luxurious environment, private, but just the feel that the staff who work in that department have, now that they are working in such an upgraded environment, the professionalism has also increased. And there are so much more I could speak to, but I will give some of my colleagues an opportunity now. Okay, um, over the last five years, I um, mean, actually in 2013, we changed our billing software. We changed from the, we had an old arcade billing system and our new billing system has allowed us um, to monitor our customers much better. 
And in addition to that, uh, we are able to hold our staff accountable. With the old billing system, our staff, we weren't able to have much control as the parameters our staff could have um, go into on a person's <coughs> account. So the billing software that we now have, it allows our staff to leave footprints on the account. Every staff member that touches an account must say the reason why they um, entered that account. And so we are able to now facilitate um, notes being left on customers' account because that's one of the main concerns that we had. Persons would come in and complain and said, I spoke to so-and-so and nobody is there to follow up. So now we have that first, um, billing software. We are able to leave notes on the account so any one of our customer service representatives can serve you much better. And so um, I will let go in. Mm -hmm. And maybe I can expound on the on the EBIS matter. Yes. So we start off on the EBIS matter. Um, what we decide, what, well, when we first started, the only way to pay Skelly was to actually come in and make a payment. Mm -hmm. And then eventually we started to go whereby we allowed persons to make those payments via their bank line. So we had National Bank, we still do have National Bank, Scotia Bank, and First, First Caribbean. So now we, we've gone a step further whereby we, and well, actually, before that, then we started accepting card payments, so you can pay with your debit and credit cards. And now we are going full eBiz. So any time of the day, 24 hours a day, you log in eBiz.skeleton.ken. Well, you have to sign up first, but eBiz.skeleton.ken. You enter your username and password, and you get to see your bill. And not only see your bill, you could see the last what three years of your bill. You could see, you could track month by month, your usage month by month, you could track the amount you pay month by month. You could get notifications to say your bill is due. I think it, it, it notifies you three days before it's due. You get one for seven days and then you get one three days before it's due. So you can track your energy use? Is yes, that and you could check your energy use. And we also have a calculator with the way by based on your last you reading and you could go and look on your meter and you could estimate how much your next meeting your next reading sorry should be if it's taken that day mm -hmm. so those are just some of the features that we have um at, on the ebay's website so it you know we it it allows you to 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 better uh, manage mm -hmm. your energy mm -hmm. and it allows you to better see your bill you, you have more convenience because you yes. can pay it whenever you feel you know whenever you feel like you can use your phone your your tablet your laptop whatever you feel to pay it or whatever you you, you want to pay it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know that you have a lot more, as you said, um, initiatives, which I hope that you would um, speak to as this program uh, continues. Now, is Skellig a government department? No. <laughs> <laughs> the short answer is no. At Skellig, we are a corporate corporation. We are a corporate enterprise. In that we are company, that's what I mean to say. We are company. We are hundred percent owned by the government, meaning the government is our only shareholder. But we are a company. On a day-to-day -day basis, we receive no help from the central government. Mm -hmm. In that we have to manage our affairs, we have to do our own collections. And in fact, as any shareholder, the government of St. Kitts will be looking for its dividends in the future from us because that is how it is when you have a company and you invest you expect returns from that company you do not go on a day-to-day -day basis putting in money into the company once you have made your initial investment what you are now looking for is returns on your investment so one of the things we would like to stress today that Skellig is no longer a government department but instead it is a company although it is a company wholly owned by the government of St. Kitts. Mm -hmm. So the government has 100% shares mm -hmm. yes, that's right. and the minister, the Honorable Ian Patches Liburd, is the representative of the government yes. on the Skellig board. Well, not <laughs> quite, but mm -hmm. if you look at the act, the act which governs the electricity company, what it will say is that the minister basically has authorization for everything, really everything really stops with the minister. But the minister would appoint members to sit on, on the board. board. Okay, yes. okay, mm -hmm. good. Now, we are looking at that and we are saying, well, you said it's a, it's a private company, it's a, it's a corporate um, entity. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the major challenges that Skellig faces? Such an entity, what are some of the major challenges? 
Okay, as we're on that, along that line, I think one of the major challenges we have out there is that persons still look at us as if we are a government department. And I think because of that, the positives and negatives that come with it are there. For instance, person may think that it's government, so I do not necessarily have to pay my bill on time. It is government, so anything that belongs to Skelec really belongs to me as the person. I don't have to take care of the Skelec poll. I don't have to take care of the government meter, for instance, because they will say it's government property. Mm -hmm. So I think that probably is one of the challenge that come with being um, an entity, although we are no longer a government department, but in the eyes of our customers and in the eyes of the public, I think we are still seen as such. Darwin, you were about to say something? Uh, pretty much what we <laughs> as well as say is, yeah, that, that's what we face. Um, persons do see us as, you know, still a government department. We still get called mm -hmm. electricity department. I mean, right. people still, when they make the complaints or whatever, they still say electricity department. So that's why, even in the beginning, we spent a lot of time on, on, on bending, whereby we put, you know, put skeleton. We put the number, our emergency number. We, we change uniforms, you know. So we try to get out of the of the electricity department moniker and make sure persons know you're dealing with a company you now with Skellig. We have responsibilities and stuff like that, you know. So that's that's the whole thing. It's it's amazing that there is a culture in terms of how we view um, the private sector mm -hmm. and how we view the public sector and. Mm -hmm. That is something sometimes people see government as being um, inefficient and very slow. And of course, they can get a lot of concessions mm -hmm. and subsidies and that sort of thing. That is not the case at the moment with Skellig. Skellig gets no subsidies. It gets no concessions. Okay. That takes me back to October 2014 and where a directive then was given to Skellig to write off the raise for resident customers. The people who were paying their bills got no concession. Can Skellig afford to do something like this? Okay, like any government, um, a decision was made to offer an amnesty to persons not on the skeleton portion of their bill, let's just make that very clear. Mm. It was on the old portion of the bill that was due to the government of St. Kitts for residential customers only. But as a private entity, Skelec has no plans to do any such write-off because governments do afford um, yes. their nationals, their residents, from time to time, be it tax amnesty, be it gun amnesty, many different amnesty, mm -hmm. a government will give their persons amnesty. But as a company at Skellig, we have no plans of doing any amnesty because um, right now there are many things that we want to do. So um, amnesty would not be on our horizon. Right. So no amnesty. Mm -hmm. You are faced with major challenges, of course. You have your operating costs. Mm -hmm. You have fuel costs. Mm -hmm. which I hope you can speak to um, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then how do you run a company like this, taking all these costs into consideration? And are you operating at a deficit? Should I answer that? <laughs> <laughs> I will, you can go ahead and I will. No, um, how do we run a company like that? Well, we try our best to run it, <laughs> you know, because mm -hmm. I mean, it, it has to, it, you know, it has to function. The company has to function as it is. Um, we have been, um, well, for, for starters anyway, when, when we started in 2011, is our main aim was to, was to make sure that we sort out the issues of electricity going fast. So we, we invested a lot of time and money and training in, in personnel and in equipment on, yes. on how we should fix this, uh, fix this issue. Because as, we, as, as the company started in August, like in September 2011, we had a lot of outages. Um, um, October, we still had a lot of outages, but as the time went on, you know, the guys did a lot of work. We did a lot, a lot, a lot of work, mm -hmm. you know, in, in the generation part of it all. And we decided, okay, this is how we, we, we're going to invest. And if we're going to invest that way, then it's, then, you know, the persons now would invest another way because we are providing a service mm -hmm. and, and, and we are, we are, our aim is to provide a reliable 
and responsible service that like goes with our motto and uh, reliability with responsibility right so in order for us to do that then it's only will be fair that persons then will pay for the service that we provide so that is that is how it works so it's like you we give you one hand you give us another hand mm -hmm. so so that's the word that we're going down and right. that's what we are trying to do now i understand that for example fuel costs and we know that fuel costs and so on is something that fluctuate it depends on the mm -hmm. on the market mm -hmm. um and so fossil fuels, of course, um, expensive. And I understand that, for example, one month, it can run you something like four million EC dollars just in fuel costs. Over four million dollars. And this is the cost now that we have the reduction in the fuel price. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what it was like in the days when the fuel um, price per gallon was ten dollars and mm -hmm. those sort of prices mm -hmm. because right now it is four yes. million and even over four million um like in the last recent months mm -hmm. it was over four million dollars so yes we do have those sort of costs and as any generation plant you can imagine we have so many different machines so many the generated the generators and just mm. different um plants yes that expenses would be there but to go back a little to your question i think efficiency is one of the things that we have tried to drive home coming from the electricity department into skellig and holding persons accountable i think sanchi alluded to it mm -hmm. before and i think that is one of the things that really helped us to see some improvements in the um electricity be yes. going on and off. I think one of the things we did try to do um, was holding persons accountable. And I think that has done a great deal to help in us having, um, that's not the only thing, but I think that's probably one of the major differences between what was inherited mm -hmm. in 2011 mm -hmm. into what has grown mm -hmm. today sure. is the fact that as a company, we are able to strive for greater efficiency sure now you know we have a lot of hotels coming on stream mm -hmm. and of course there is increased construction mm -hmm. activity mm -hmm. that means then that you will have to um, increase your generation mm -hmm. isn't that so that's correct mm -hmm. and so therefore that will redound mm -hmm. in higher operating costs mm -hmm. fuel costs mm -hmm. and so on now Skellig has to collect money. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways in which you're going to meet your costs, your fuel costs, and your operating costs, and if you're to make any profit at all, where the government can get its dividend, <laughs> <laughs> then people must pay their bills. Mm -hmm. Some do. Some don't. What rewards are there for those who comply? And what penalties are there for those who don't? As you mentioned, Lesra, we do provide a service to our public. And so in turn, we do expect our customers to pay us in um, return. And so at the moment, there's no fuel charge for the last 18 months or so on our um, customers bill. In addition to that, uh, customers receive um, energy credits. And so the energy credits varies from tier to tier. For example, customers that um, use usage between 0 to 200 receive 50% off of their energy portion of the bill and 100% off should there be a fuel mm -hmm. charge. Customers between 201 to 450, it's 201 to 250. If there's a fuel charge, you receive 100% off of your fuel charge. 251 to 350, you receive 50% off. 351 to 450, you receive 40% off. 451 to 500, you receive 30% off of your bill. 501 to 800 you receive 20% off of your bill 
801, 2, and anything over 1,000 units, you receive 10% off of your bill. So even though <laughs> persons are not paying as we wish, as we would like, we still in turn give back something to our customers. Sure. And every month, as long as you fall in a particular tier, you're you entitled to receive some sort of discount off of your bill. Sure. Okay. Now, what do you do with those customers who are not living up to their responsibility? Because you have a responsibility mm -hmm. to your customers, but your customers also have a responsibility to you in terms of ensuring that they pay their bills mm -hmm. as right. good citizens. That's right. Okay. What do you have in place to deal with that? Um, for persons who, because they are persons who just genuinely have financial hazards, you know, mm -hmm. and, and they, they might be delinquent and, and have a ways on their bills. So we have our default payment arrangement plan, which, you know, which is, we've had that from, for a while now, right? Yeah, and, you know, so we encourage persons to come in and sign up for, for the default payment arrangement. And, I'm gonna lay it out simpler than Sancho would sure. explain to you. But the simple the simple way of it is just think of it as like higher purchase without paying an interest. Right. So you come in, say your bill is, I don't know, a thousand dollars, then whatever the price is. You you come in, we break it down into monthly payments mm -hmm. and then we tell you pay that per month along with your current, current bill. Mm -hmm. Right? So, and that is just the basic simple outline of it just right. think of it as a high purchase and that's what it is but we don't charge interest on it so right. it's just that we just break it down into either 12 18 months whatever the cases and then we tell you pay that over that period um i guess sanction would explain more in depth of how it works sure okay um our deferred what we call our dp well the long term of it is our deferred payment arrangement plan we have had this plan for quite some time but over the last year we have done significant um, advertising regarding this um, yes. subject matter mm -hmm. and so the different how the deferred payment arrangement works is that let's say for example you have a bill of five thousand dollars and what we ask you to do is make an initial deposit so of course the higher your initial deposit is the less your monthly payments would be over sure. a period of time and so Let's say you, you make a payment of an initial deposit of $3,000. So what we do, once you agree that you're going to pay it over a period, let's say six months, we divide the balance of the 2000 over that six months period. And so what would happen on your bill, you will see every month in the installment portion of the bill, your, what you, we require you to pay towards your arrears. So you will have in the sermon portion what is paid towards your rates on the bottom of the bill you will see what you use for that current month. Mm -hmm. You have to remain in good standing for your deferred payment arrangement plan. So that $2,000 for example goes into a holding account and every month we just put on the amount that you have agreed. Let's say you have agreed to $100 per month. The $100 goes on into your installment portion of the bill and you pay it along with your current month bill. 